Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob here. Turn your King James Bible to Isaiah chapter 20. We're going to do a quick, this is a very, very short chapter. Isaiah chapter 20 and verse 1. In the year that Tartan came into Ashdod, when Sargon, the king of Assyria, sent him and fought against Ashdod and took it, at the same time spake the Lord by Isaiah, the son of Amoz, saying, Go and loose the sackcloth from off thy loins, and put off thy shoe from thy foot. And he did so, walking naked and barefoot. And the Lord said, Like as my servant Isaiah hath walked naked and barefoot three years for a sign and wonder upon Egypt and upon Ethiopia, so shall the king of Assyria lead away the Egyptians' prisoners and the Ethiopians' captives, young and old, naked and barefoot, even with their buttocks uncovered, to the shame of Egypt. And they shall be, af a sh uh, and they shall be afraid and ashamed of Ethiopia, their expectation, and of Egypt, their glory. And the inhabitants of this isle shall say in that day, Behold, such is our expectation, whither we flee for help to be delivered from the king of Assyria, and how shall we escape? Uh, ladies, you may not know this. Well, and if anybody that's never served in the military probably wouldn't know it either. But it was common practice to um, have prisoners uh, go naked because it's kind of hard to hide a weapon when you're naked. So, you know, if you were fully clothed, uh, it was, you know, they could hide a, a knife. and uh, But that's why a lot of times they would do that. They would have the prisoners go naked. Um, the U.S. military did that in the Pacific with the Japanese. Uh, a lot of times the Japanese would pretend to surrender and they would have a hand grenade. And then when they would get close to the troops, uh, they would set off a hand grenade oftentimes killing themselves and taking uh, soldiers with them. So they made the Japanese soldiers strip. And, um, you know, they might let them put on, after they'd completely stripped, uh, they might let them put on some underwear or something afterwards. But, uh, yeah, that's why it's, it's a very, very old practice. But that's what Isaiah was told of the Lord to do that because it was uh, a prophecy. So, all right, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, His precious name. Amen.